My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Gavin, your drill is a flat-footed trunk twist, keeping your heels flat on the ground. And you don't have to have your feet close together. You can have them out, but your feet are not, your heels are never allowed to touch uh, come off the ground and you're going to spin your chest and try to swing your hands around your left hip. We call it a corner release. This is much better. Notice how the club doesn't drop underneath the plane there as opposed to this one. It gets you to turn your chest See how there you drop way underneath, whereas the swing on the left, you don't, and then watch your hands exit. Now here on the exit, see how they exit out to the right? Yeah. Now watch this. We keep going. See how your hands are working to the left? See how much more left your hands are than there? The whole body's turned a little better. Yeah. So you're going to work on rotation. Of the left hip, bring your hands around your left hip. The club should exit under your left shoulder. Well, that doesn't happen over here. Notice where that club's exiting over there versus the left screen, the club's exiting under the left shoulder. This one is exiting above. So you're getting more rotation. So I just want you to think of turning your chest, connect your left arm, to your chest and swing it right around your left hip.